Yo, what is up guys? Smoothie here, bringing you a Black Ops 2 video. This is going to be the second episode in my Creative Class Prediction series. Um, I'm thinking there's only going to be three episodes of this. There might be more, depending on if I want to make more classes, but as of now, it uh, looks like there's going to be three episodes. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into the classes. So this first class here is probably my favorite of the classes I've made, just because it uh, it's really a unique class, and if you think about it, this is kind of how I thought of this. So, in Black Ops 2, you use, it seems like most people are going to put their points in attachments, because attachments give you the, the really nice benefits like sleight of hand, quick draw, and stuff like that. You know, extended mags, red dots, and I figured that that's kind of a waste, because you're putting one attach you're using one point to put like one attachment on your gun and then if you want three attachments you have to spend two more points and it's just kind of weird so I made this class thinking that everyone's gonna be using tricked out guns and with this class <clears throat> you carry around just a bare mp7 um, and then you load up on perks and then you just go around and pick up other people's guns so you have you're basically getting the most bang for your buck um, you have scavenger to make sure when you find a good gun, like a really nice gun with like three attachments and good ones, that you can use it for a while. And then you have flak jacket for survivability, dead silence and tack mask for survivability, and hardline just so you can get your kill streaks a bit faster. Uh, Semtex and concussion. Uh, I'm pretty sure scavenger replenishes those, so that's going to be pretty awesome. I just actually played Black Ops One oh, a couple days ago. And scavenger replacing stunts and semtex, oh my god, it's amazing. So I'm looking forward to that. And then kill streaks or score streaks, you can use whatever you want. Um, but I have orbital V set just because it's supposedly going to be amazing. VTOL warship just because it looks cool, and then K9 unit because it looks awesome. Um, obviously if you cute. Yeah, if you're not used to getting really high kill streaks, you don't have to use those. But those are just my personal preferences. Um, so yeah, one change that I think it uh, that I don't know about this class yet is whether or not you can pick up two weapons if you don't have a secondary. So I think it would make sense if Treyarch made it so that you can't have two weapons if you didn't put a secondary on your loadout. So like right here with this class, if I use this exact setup, I don't think I should be able to pick up two primary weapons th just because I didn't have a secondary weapon on. And I hope they do it that way because it'll be kind of weird if you just decide to pick up another weapon because that kind of defeats the purpose of even spending a point on a secondary. Um, so yeah, if they do do that, I would definitely uh, put a pistol on here and maybe take off, uh, what would I take off? Maybe I would take off Semtex, Concussions, uh, or Flash Grenades, or whatever you like. They're really useful if you have an infinite supply of them with Scavenger. Um, or you could take off concussions, whichever you prefer, Semtex or concussion. Um, then I would do that. And another weird thing about this is that um, I don't think primary should cost the same amount as a secondary. Um, I think they should, probably should have done a bit different. Maybe pick 12 or pick 13 or 15 or something like that because... Um, I feel that there are some things that should cost more than others, like primary weapons should cost more than others. Um, and obviously, uh, I think perks should cost more. Um, and then equipment and attachments should all cost less, but whatever. Um, that's the system they're going for, and I'm not going to complain about it yet. So that was the first class, probably the one I'm most excited for just because it's so unique. And then we have the second class here. And this is a very stealth based class. So pretty much this is going to be rushing yet stealth at the same time. <clears throat> and the primary weapon is the Scorpion Evo 3. And I primarily chose this weapon because it has a cool name. And keep in mind that I did make these a while back but I just haven't done a commentary about it yet. So there are new SMGs in the game. There's the Vector. I know that for a fact. There's the uh, Tar. The Tar is an SMG in this game. So keep that in mind. Um, apparently the Scorpion's actually very good though. So 
that's good for this class, I suppose. Um, if the scorpion doesn't turn out to be good, obviously you could <coughs> you could switch it out for a different SMG. Uh, MSMC would probably work just fine. And I have the suppressor, which is self-explanatory. Adjustable stock, which if you didn't know, acts as stalker in uh, Black Ops 2. So if you have that on, you can move faster while you're aim down sight. And then you have fast mag, which is sleight of hand. So <coughs> the perk one, I have ghost and lightweight. Ghost, obviously, for stealth, to keep me off the pesky UAV, and then lightweight, because this is a flanking class, and when I play stealth, I like to flank a lot, because that's how you get the most out of your, uh, out of your stealth, because if you come from behind the enemy with stealth, it's really useful. If you come from the front of the enemy with stealth, eh, it's okay, but you can do the same without it, so I like to flank uh, scavenger, just because I don't want to run out of ammo with my gun, I don't want to have to use someone else's gun, um extreme conditioning again because I like to flank and then and no equipment just because I didn't have enough points um, score streaks starting out small with the UAV um, because if I'm in the enemy spawn I definitely want to know where they are I don't want to be stuck waiting for like 9 to 10 kills to get my orbital V sent or my canine unit or whatever um, but then again of course you can switch out the score streaks for whatever you want uh, UAV counter UAV and orbital V set would work perfect that's another thing I would run um, so yeah again it's kind of up to you wild cards primary gunfighter and perk one greed um, changes I would make to this class again if they did the thing where you could pick up two weapons if you only if you chose a secondary I would probably put a b23r on this and then I would probably take off I'd have to take off a perk, so I would probably take off lightweight, and then I would have actually another free slot after that, because I would have to take off primary gunfighter, or no, uh, perk one greed. And then I, I don't know, I might put concussion on, or maybe, I don't know, I don't know what it, maybe motion sensor if that's an, if that's a uh, equipment. But anyways, those are just two more classes. Next episode should have three, I believe, because I have three left. And yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, and as always, don't forget to subscribe. Peace.